Hey guys and welcome to another video here on my channel and welcome to another installment in my planning for 2017 series. I have an entire playlist down below so be sure to check it out. I definitely wanted to showcase this style and share what I'm going to be doing with this style of planner which is the Traveler's Notebook. I'm not really familiar with the terminology. This is completely new to me, but I see people using these on Instagram all the time. And it's between this one and the personal planner. And this one I'm so in love with. The personal planner, I do like the um, recollection style because I think that it's very affordable when you're trying to like try out different styles of planners. I love that Michaels and the recollections line is really bringing the planner community to the forefront and there's options for people to try, inexpensive options for people to try. But, I, I, this is from Michaels by the way, but between the personal planner and this traveler style, style, I really, really, really like this one. So I'm going to be using my traveler's notebook for journaling and I had a video on this already of how I set up a Steelers schedule inside of here, which I'll show you guys. So here's the notebook. You have the elastic down here the elastic up here and then you have this charm you can add your own charm or whatever but here it is so that's that it came with two notebooks and no they did not look like this this one that I painted black was originally white and when I did my first video um, which I'll have linked down below for you guys I had just wrote views from the six on it and colored on it but then I saw another youtuber I'll have to annotate um, the YouTuber that I got this from she had painted hers and I thought it was so dope so this is black acrylic paint and it does have gold flex on it because of the brush that I used had was from a project I was using with glitter so here's what that looks like this is what sparked me to really make this video so these inserts are from Lady V designs and um, I got these at the New Jersey New York planner meetup that I went to back in August and I basically got a whole month's worth and I was like, I don't use a personal planner. What the heck am I gonna do with these inserts? And I was thinking of giving them away, but I found a way to use them in this traveler's notebook. So these, the stickers that I'm also gonna be using in this video are these here, which are from the Mommy brand and I got them on major clearance, like a dollar, less than a dollar at Hobby Lobby. So check out that clearance section. So I just put week in review down here and this is going to be for my vacation week and in this video along with the setup and how I um, customize everything for me I'm going to be decorating this with you guys as well as my birthday week as well as the Christmas back here. So there's that and then I also have some pages in here. Um, my brother when he goes went to prom and when he graduated I'm going to put some pictures here. And then here for my sister Sweet 16, which is happening in December. And another thing that I want to add to this notebook in particular are movies that I want to see in 2016, movies that I've seen in 2016 as well, shows that I'm obsessed with, including Netflix shows, and my music favorites of the year. So that's going to be going in here as well. Not sure exactly where, but that's what's basically going in here because this is my memories from 2016 and I want it to stay this way. So that's what that is. Now with this other one, this is where the customization, oh, this is the wrong one. <laughs> here we go. This is the other notebook that came with this journal here. And I am unsure what I'm gonna do with it, but I really made all of these notebooks because I want to see just how jam-packed I can get this. And I have six that I'm gonna be putting in here to show you guys. So again, I painted it, but I took that, um happy planner paper that those big sheets of paper that you can use for just about everything and I put them inside of here so here's one and then there's the other sheet so just to customize it a bit further so those are the two that came inside of there and then the one that's going to be going in between those is this one here which I painted this nice denim blue color and I took some more of that Mombi paper and put it inside of here. And the sheets inside of here, even though this is messed up, I can easily cover that up with washi. Um, the sheets inside of here are construction paper and I use construction paper quite a bit in these books. So we'll get to the other three in a second. So how I assembled these books, I put the cover on. The cover is actually this textured scrapbook paper here which I love 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 and I just painted over it and I put the cover on top here before I painted it I put the cover on top and I used a regular stapler 
and I'll have to um, annotate the YouTuber that I saw this from and she was using like a ruler and a cutter literally I just took the paper lined it up matched it to one of the ones that came with the book I just eyeballed everything I didn't use a ruler or none of that but to get the stapler to work you just take the eraser and you put it underneath and you hold it out like this and then press down. Then the staples are going to be standing up and I just used a pair of scissors to press them down and that was that. So like with that one right there, be careful, use a um, pair of scissors to press it down or whatever. You can even use a card if you want to just, you know, make sure that it's down. So that's that. Now to get them inside of here, I have a rubber band. Rubber bands are perfect for this, but I also have this elastic that I think came with it, but if it didn't, I don't know where I got this from. So to get this inside of here, this is going to be going into this first little band here. So just open it up to the middle and the middle's easy to find because that's where the staples are. And I got this from watching another YouTuber do it. And then you take the covers, you put them back to back. You take your elastic, then you open it up so that the covers are like that. And then there you have it. Now for the one that you want to put in the middle, you open it up to the middle and then slide it in between the band like so. And there you have it. So. Okay, so I fixed it. I have the black one in front now, which is the one that I've been using, um, that I'm currently using, and then everything else. All right, so we're good with that. Now for the other band, I made in total four books, and I painted all of these as well with the same cover that I showed you guys with the other one. So these two I'm going to be putting together with the rubber band, and then this one's going to go in the middle. So again, here's that paper, and this is washi tape here. And this one is the one with the regular computer paper and because it was like paint all in here I just decided to put some washi tape smack dab in the middle then this I wanted to try out some of those blackout spreads that I see people doing and this is black construction paper why not and this is actually scrapbook paper with washi tape that I put in this cover on the inside of this one so that's that and then this one, I took some more of that paper and put it here. And I have blue, it's coming up more purple on camera, but this is blue paper, construction paper mixed with the brown paper. I just decided that I only had a little bit of the brown construction paper, so I mixed some of the blue with it and it's gonna work for me. So that is how I made my own books. And here's how thick this is. And like I said, I'm using this for journaling purposes. So I'm just going to be basically pulling out highlights and things from my day, from my week, from my month or whatever, what have you. And I just am happy that I have this space to do so. So now we're going to come back into this first one. And like I said, we're going to decorate for my vacation week here. And then Christmas week, I'm going to add some stickers for that just to jazz it up a bit. And then for my birthday week, that was a couple weeks ago. Well, by the time you guys are watching this, a month ago. So <laughs> yeah, there we have it. So and again, these um, inserts, I'll have everything linked on the blog, chaoticcritic.com. These inserts are Lady V Designs. So let's get planning. I forgot to mention that in putting these inserts in, I just used double-sided tape um, that I got from Dollar Tree and I just stuck them down. The washi tape was put here more so as a frame, similar with the one that I'm doing for my birthday week. I just wanted to frame it out, but I stuck everything down with double
video. So here's how my Christmas one turned out. Here's my birthday spread. And then here was from my vacation week. I have close-up pictures on the blog, chaoticcritic.com. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Chaotic Critic because I have some giveaways coming in December. So be on the lookout for that. Also, be sure to check out my entire planning for 2017 playlist in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.